Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Glossy Philosophy. My name is Jansen Binman and today we are doing this look which is based on a Chanel haute couture look, makeup look that I saw when I watched a Netflix special seven days out on the Chanel haute couture line when Karl Lagerfeld was still with us. So I hope this inspires you and if you want to see how to get this look, keep watching. Let's get started with the tutorial. So today we are definitely doing a lip forward look and a very minimal eyeshadow look, but we are going to start the way that we always start. I've already washed my face and prepped my skin with skincare, so now we're going to go in with correcting and I'm starting with the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Bisque. I'm very low on this, so I'm just going to take it with my finger and I'm going to pat it and then I'm going to use my Duo Fiber Brush to blend it out. So I'm just grabbing a little bit. I'm kind of warming it up with my fingers. This product works really well when it's just a little bit warm. I've noticed that as the weather continues to get warmer, the product is just working better. And that is because that's how this product works. So if you have a really, really cold bathroom or you get ready in a cold place, try just warming the product up a little bit with your fingers and your own body heat and it should work a dream. So just a really thin layer and then blending out with my duo fiber. You could use a denser brush if you felt like you needed a little bit more but I want to keep everything really nice and light. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer starting on that inner corner because I do have a little blue purple that happens there and usually as we get older that becomes a little bit more pronounced and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to take my dual fiber brush and I'm just really gently I'm kind of tapping and pulling and then sometimes I'm just bouncing my brush and then I'll go back in with my finger and make sure everything is nice and blended Around your eye area, it's really great to use both a brush and your fingers. I just feel like it ends up looking a lot more natural. Plus, you probably trust your fingers a little bit more than you trust your brush. You would need a teeny tiny brush to get into this area, whereas your fingers, you can just kind of get in and get out. Okay, now we're ready to go in with our foundation. Same one, 4.5 Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, one pump, and I'm also going to use my dual fiber brush on this one as well. So I'm just going to do a couple dots, and then I'm going to blend out. Because I really want to see the skin underneath, and I don't necessarily want to see the foundation. Even my Sephora brush that's really fluffy, doesn't give me as sheer of a coverage as this does. So if you want your foundation to act a little bit more like a tinted moisturizer, this is a really great tip. Just change your brush and you change how the product goes on the skin. Also, just feel like there's something really magical about this Duo Fiber Brush. It just really seems to be able to blend away all the edges of the foundation and really just look like skin. So when you're having a really good skin day, or again, you just want to use your foundation in multiple ways, change your brush. A denser brush, like the Bobbi Brown Full Foundation brush is going to be a full coverage. The Sephora number 55 is going to be more of that medium coverage. And something like the Duo Fiber is going to be the lightest. Now you can go in with a couple layers with your Duo Fiber and really build it up to a medium if you want to. But I feel like this just gives you a little bit more control and especially as we get into the spring, I just want to keep things a little bit more simple. And then I'm just bringing down 
whatever is left on my brush. Magical. So good. Going in with our highlighter by Lisa Eldridge, just doing a few dots. I'm going to wipe down my dual fiber brush and I'm going to use that to blend out my highlighter as well. And then I might go back in with my fingers. So I have a towel down here on the table that I'm using and I'm just wiping down the foundation, wiping down the concealer. And kind of doing the same thing, doing some bouncing motions, especially on my cheekbone and some swiping motions as well. Just a really light hand. Because I really just want the edges blended out and I want that nice impact of when I turn my head to have some really nice glowy skin. Because it is still dry where I am so I need that extra help glow, glowing for my skin to just look a little bit more healthy. So now I'm going to take my rock and coal and I'm going to tight line my eyes. Just gently lifting that lid, doing little dashes, and going all the way across that upper lip line. I'm going to take my NARS tinted eyeshadow primer, split it between my fingers, and this just helps to neutralize any veins that are peeking through or any discoloration that you have. It's kind of like a super silicone-y concealer for your eyelids. I have done concealer on my eyelids and then set with powder. That's how you used to have to, to do this, but I found that it just doesn't hold on to eyeshadow for me as well. As using this product and it's the same with the paint pots. Some people swear by the MAC paint pots. For me, if I don't have this NARS, the eyeshadow just doesn't last. So for whatever reason, this formulation works the best. If you are having trouble with your eyeshadow lasting all day, try the NARS and I bet that it will last all day for you as long as you're not rubbing your eyes. If you're rubbing your eyes, then that's a whole other thing. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my brow colors. So here's our eyeshadow palette that we are using today. These are the eyeshadows that we're using, and then these are my brow colors, which are brun and sandstone as usual. So dipping into a little bit of brun and sandstone, and then just, I'm not even going to brush through my brows. We're keeping this easy peasy. I'm going to go in the same direction as my hair is naturally growing and I'm just filling in any gaps. So I'm hitting the skin or I'm touching the skin and then I'm pulling, pulling that product through. I did not put my eyeshadow primer into my brows. So all I have there is possibly some skincare that's like migrated a little bit. And then if I feel like I have any more gaps, I'm going to go back into sandstone, which is the lighter of the two, especially in the front, and just fill that in a little bit more. I'm liking a nice, healthy brow for spring, especially if I'm doing a fuller or a more impactful look color. I feel like it balances it out really nicely, especially when I'm doing minimal eyes. So now I'm going to go in with the 201 BK Beauty, and the colors that we are using today are going to be Soft Brown and Finjan. So kind of juxtaposing each other, Finjan is a purpley brown like a mid-tone purpley brown and soft brown is definitely an orangey pinky brown but somehow they just work beautifully together so i'm dipping my brush into both of those and then we are going to start on that outer third and then sweep up into the crease so really finding where 
my eyelid stops and finding that little socket. I just love these two colors together. I think it works so beautifully with especially a pop on the lip because the eyeshadow can hold its own, but it's not overpowering. And again, just really finding that socket on the tip of this brush. This brush is domed. It's a really fluffy domed brush. So it's going to do a lot of the blending for you, especially in this initial step. And then I'm going to go in with the 217. Same thing, I'm dipping into both of the colors. And I'm just, because this is a denser brush, it's going to give me a little bit more pigment. I'm going to relax my eyes and bring that color just a little bit higher, just a little bit above the socket line so that you can actually see it when my eyes and my face do relax. We want to make sure when we're putting on our eye makeup that we don't have surprised eyes. It does make it easier to put on the eye makeup, but it when you relax your face, the eye makeup goes away. So I've just cleaned up my brush on my towel, and now with nothing on my brush, I'm just blending out those edges, just kind of softening them, and then I'm also going to bring in any excess onto the lid, because I do want my lid a little bit more covered, but without even adding an extra shadow, it does look like I've used three eyeshadows. And then I have a little bit of shroom for my inner corner if I'm feeling like I just need a little bit of pop. So this is looking a little, a little harsh to me. I want it to be a little bit softer. So I'm going to go back in the soft brown and just really lightly, I'm going to put that right on the edge of that line and just soften that out a bit. Same thing over here. And then we're going to go back in with the 201 and just really gently do some little circles to soften that out. Okay, much better, much softer. So I'm going to go in with BK Beauty 207 into Shroom. And just pop that right on that inner corner. This brush is like the perfect size for that inner corner pop. And it just adds a little something. All right, now we're going to do our liner. So I'm going back in with my angle brush again, just kind of sweeping it on my little towel under here, going in with chocolate shimmer. Again, I want my lips to be the focus. I don't want my eyes to necessarily steal the show, so I'm going to go in with that nice chocolatey brown. Finding my little kitten wing and then bringing it in on the lid. Making sure that there are no gaps in between the lash line and my gel liner. I've been wearing, this has kind of been my makeup uniform for March. I've been wearing this one a lot because I feel like it goes with a lot of different lip colors. You could definitely go in with a color like Kitten Mischief. And because you have a little bit of interest on the eyes, it totally works. Maybe you just amp up your blush a little bit. And then if you want to go in with more of those spring trend colors, this also works. It's just a really, really beautiful look. There's a show on Netflix called Seven Days Out, which is where I got this inspiration for this look. And they did a Chanel Couture show. And this makeup is 
very similar to what they did. They did a little bit more of a pinky all around look and I just felt like it looked so fresh for spring, just like the perfect spring look, kind of taking it back to one or two shadows. And that's really what I wanted to do. So now I'm just going in with my Dior primer and I'm really amping up that lash line because I went in with brown. We don't have a ton of eyeshadow, so I do want to make sure that my eyes still stand out, but they're not necessarily the hero or the main focus of this look. So just really coating, especially that upper lash line with the primer. And then we're going to go in with Smokey Eye from Bobbi Brown. Going from the roots and then wiggling up. And I honestly can't believe the difference between using the primer and not using the primer. I took a little bit of a primer break and I just, I really felt like my lashes completely disappeared. They really do help you. If you use an, an eyelash curler, they really help maintain that curl. For me, it just really helps them kind of stand up a little bit more. Mine have a tendency to be a little shy and not, not be super visible. Okay. I'm going to go back in with my finger. I'm going to make sure that's nice and clean first. I'm just going to go back in with my ring finger and clean up anything that has kind of settled. we go. Alright, now I think we are ready to put on our lipstick. So this is Wonder Wheel by Lisa Eldridge, of course, and this is one of her luxuriously lucent lipsticks, and I just feel like it is the perfect spring shade. And then we are going to balance it out with a little bit of Songbird. So this is a really fun way to get that neon trend that's really, really popular, that has been really popular for the last few years into your makeup routine without going neon on the eyes. So again, that was Wonder Wheel lipstick with a little bit of Songbird. The Songbird takes it down just a little bit, but it adds a little bit of a gloss and I feel like it's just a really nice balance. It doesn't feel too loud. It just feels just right. So when you are wearing something like this, a lipstick like this, you definitely need to make sure that you are balancing it out with a good blush. So we're gonna quickly finish the complexion, add a little bit of bronzer to give a little bit of life to the face. Same bronzer as always, Natasha Denona, so good. On my BK Beauty bronzing brush. Just really doing quick, big ovals. I don't like to spend a lot of time doing my bronzer. I just don't, for me, it's really just to add a little bit of color to the face, a little bit of a healthy glow without having to go outside well, without having to get sun, I guess. And then a little bit down the neck, just to make sure everything's talking to one another. And then we're gonna go back in with our blush and powder brush into Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. This just seems to be the absolute perfect blush for so many lip colors again. See, and once you add that little bit of blush, everything starts to make a little bit more sense. 
Again, if this is like your first time using a really bright lipstick, you definitely want to do your lipstick first and then do your eyes to make sure that they balance. I've been wearing this look quite a bit recently, so I knew the amount of eyeshadow that I needed to balance out the lips. So that is our springtime look. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I just was so inspired by the Chanel Eau Couture makeup um, from a few years ago that I wanted to recreate it at home with products that I have and it just makes me feel very springy no matter what is going on with the weather. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it inspired you to play with some bright pops of neons and pinks and maybe a little orange. I do fashion videos every Wednesday, beauty videos every Friday, and Mondays very specific beauty and fashion questions and occasions to talk about. So hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye!